All right, let's move on. Uh, shut down. You were asking about the shutdown, shut St. James. I'm ready. First of all, um, great questions. Thank you. Nice beard. Thank you. Good questions. Thank you. What up, CB? Hey, guy. Shut down. Right now, we're flying blind. Imagine an airplane pilot flying from, I don't know, Chicago to San Francisco. Mm-hmm. He's got an airplane with 200 people inside of it. It's a big airplane. Yeah. And he just saw the movie Bird Box. <laughs> and he's doing the Bird Box challenge. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. I haven't either. You don't need to. It's not that good. All I know is there's I'll someone. Write it. All I know is there's someone with a blindfold. I, so everyone I know that has watched a movie is like, this is amazing. And then I know one movie critic and is like, okay, this movie's garbage. Like, guys, no relax. Shit. Yeah. Wow. Netflix announced that one third of their viewers, of their subscribers, watch the movie. Mm. Sandra Bullock, baby. There you go. So, um, an airplane pilot. He's got. He's in. You know, he's in United Airplane. Two hundred people flying Chicago, San Francisco. No visibility. White person going crazy. Lightning is striking. Clouds. It's dark. He just can't see shit. And then his tachometer, odometer, speedometer, all go out. Oh my god! Can you imagine that shit? It's like the movie Airplane. Like the movie Airplane. Great movie. Yo, that's what's happening with our economy right now. Oh, well, I thought I thought this was a real. St- I thought this was a real story. <laughs> 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 Metaphorically, it is. <laughs> Yo, like, for real, like, one important part of the economy, for example, is having, like, the Federal Reserve review data about how much shit we're buying and how much stuff we're doing, you know, economic activity. A lot of these reports are not even coming out because government employees aren't working anymore, a lot of them, right? There's 800,000 of these government employees. Uh, 380,000, I believe, are furloughed, meaning they're, they're just they're yeah. at home. Yep. And then, and then 420,000 are working without pay. You know, you want to see him? Go, go 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 to the airport and you'll see an angry TSA agent. Fucking not getting paid. What if they all just stop working? Some are striking, I heard. And I'm like, I, I'm afraid to go. I'm afraid to book a flight and go to somewhere because, like, I don't know if I'm going to. How, how yeah. bad is that at the airport? I got a flight next week that I'm, like, really not excited about. Yeah, yeah like, same. who knows? Yeah. So, um, so he, here's the economic effects. Let's just talk about that. So, number one. They, we're not getting all the data that we need to see what's going on with the economy. It, it, you gotta understand, data that the government collects on all the shit we're buying, selling, spending, whatever, is the, like the the lifeblood, like the mm-hmm. blood of the economy. If it was a human being, mm-hmm. like it literally is like blood running through our body. We need data to know what's going on with the economy so that we can decide what to do. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so so government spending number one government the government is one of the biggest spenders in the world they take all our taxes and then they buy shit mm-hmm. and 380,000 federal employees not going to work a lot of less shit is getting bought in the mm. government the government's just not buying as much shit so that's kind of starting to hurt our economy uh, and then of course we talked about the unpaid 800,000 unpaid employees like that's a that's gonna have a huge impact on consumer spending like they're just not buying as much shit as they were before 